Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna take a look at the Tesla Plaid powertrain. Now I've been an automotive powertrain engineer for many years. I wanna make a quick disclaimer. I don't have any relationship to Tesla other than owning one. So these are my thoughts. We're gonna be doing a multi-part series looking at the incredible engineering and performance of the Plaid powertrain. Now, Tesla has a few tricks up its sleeve, which I discovered in my review, and they left us a few breadcrumbs. So let's take the time and put it together. I'll start off today by looking at Tesla's plaid power curve, and then we'll dive into Tesla's top speed claims. So as you can see, this is the plaid power curve that Tesla presented at the plaid delivery event, which showed the incredible power curve. It's flat from just over 60 miles an hour all the way up to 200. So that's pretty incredible. You can see it's peaks at 80 miles an hour at 1,020 horsepower, but it stays above 1,000, about 60 miles an hour all the way up. That is incredible. Props to Tesla for making such an incredible engineering uh, feat here. So if you look down below, Tesla included some some graphs of their previous P100D performance and the original P85D. And then the way that Tesla presented this really highlights the benefit of the Plaid powertrain, which is at high speeds, the power doesn't drop off. Uh, and that's really been a, an Achilles heel for the single speed powertrain for Teslas. You know, they're very good zero to 60, but beyond that, they start to drop off. This engineering feat is really gonna change the game. We'll take a look at this throughout this series, but that uh, flat power curve is gonna play a pivotal role in Tesla's future strategy. So let's move on. Let's go down to figure out a little bit more details about this Plaid powertrain, and then we can start getting into the specs. So this is the powertrain layout. If you haven't seen it before, they have a single motor in front and two motors in the rear. And we're gonna make the assumption throughout this series that all motors have equal power. We have no information to conform or deny that, so we will have to work on understanding more as information comes in. So I wanted to understand from Tesla some more specifications. So I went to Tesla's Model S owner's manual and they give a few more details here around motor type and transmission, which I found kind of interesting. Uh, we'll. We'll try to remember this as we go through the details later and in future videos. So they show the motor type, the long range and the plaid, as well as the transmission for the long range and the plaid. There's really the main difference here between long range and plaid seems to be this carbon fiber wrapped rotor. We all know that there's two motors in the rear, but this carbon fiber wrapped rotor, which is claimed for high RPM and holding that motor in at high speed, that will play a pivotal role here in, in what we discover. The standard long range doesn't mention carbon fiber wrap rotor, so we're gonna make the assumption that it does not have that. We'll have to wait for Sandy Monroe to do some teardowns and comparisons. Looking forward to that. So then moving on to the transmission. You can see the difference here between long range and plaid. So long range has two different gear ratios for the front and the rear, 755 up front and 904 in the rear. This nine to one gear ratio is very similar to what's in previous Teslas, Model 3s, etc. And really nothing, nothing of note there. Those gear ratios look about where they should. Now the interesting one is moving over to Plaid. This one, they talk about a seven and a half to one gear ratio. That's pretty low. I think that's one of the lower ones that Tesla has put out. And it's the same for both the front and the rear. And my hypothesis is this is so they can get the 200 miles per hour and maybe beyond. So we're gonna look into that, how that plays into it. Uh, the other thing to note is this enhanced lubrication in the front transmission. That should be interesting to understand more about as well as this dry sump lubrication in the rear. I suspect it's very similar to the Model 3 motor, but until we know a little bit more, we can't comment too much on that. So let's take these numbers. We'll dive into the next section. So we want to understand uh, peak motor speeds. So let's look at this. We have the tires. So I got the tires out of the owner's manual, 728 revs per mile. We want to understand what the motor speed is at 200 miles per hour, which is the claim top speed. So 200 miles per hour times the 728, convert minutes into hours. Then you can see at top speed, we have 
basically 2400 RPM wheel speed. Let's convert that into motor speed by multiplying by that seven and a half to one. And you can see the peak motor speed is 18,215 RPM. Now that is where it gets interesting. I thought Tesla mentioned that they were over 20,000 RPM. So now a little disclaimer here is I'm not including any slip ratio or anything that may occur at high speed. However, that shouldn't be significant enough to really adjust these numbers by 10%. So we'll look at this 18,215 a little bit more later, but that is below the 20,000 that Elon claimed. And then for motor power, we'll just do the, the quick assumption. 1,020 divided by three gives us 340 horsepower or 253 kilowatts per motor. So as I mentioned, this 18,215 is less than the 20,000 plus RPM that Elon mentioned. It goes up to 20,000 RPM and maybe a little more. So. What is this? Slip ratio? Are they sandbagging? I think that this is really where it starts to highlight that Tesla has a little bit more in this plaid powertrain than they like to admit. What gives me that confidence is let's take a look at the Model 3. So we'll look at the Performance Model 3. We have 162 mile per hour top speed on the Plaid version. Ah, I misspoke. I should say the Performance version. And when you do the nine to one ratio and the tire 761 revs per mile, that comes out to 18,492. Well, that's higher than a carbon fiber wrapped rotor. So there's something more to this. And I think that this is what we're gonna have to solve because Tesla, even at 200 miles per hour in the Plaid Model S, their motor is spinning slower than a Performance Model 3. And the whole point of them doing carbon fiber wrapped rotor is so the motor can spin faster. This is the first clue that I think Tesla is sandbagging on the Plaid powertrain capability in the Plaid Model S. So let's take a look. Plaid at 20,000 RPM, which is the minimum that Tesla claimed. They said 20,000 RPM plus. If you just do the basic calculations, 20,000 RPM is 220 miles per hour. So please let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are and stay tuned for the next part of this series and we'll go in even in more detail on torque speeds and the reason why Teslas don't need transmissions. Thank you for watching.